Good morning, everybody. Oh. Well, I've been um, taking some time. Last week, my husband was off, so we did a bunch of other things. And yesterday, I had a doctor appointment for my usual checkup. So I finally have my time. <laughs> and it's been an interesting week. We had a possum get into my studio, which is the sunroom. And it was um, not quite a baby, not quite full grown, but my dogs took exception to the fact that he was in here. Especially my um, Jack Russell, which tried to kill him because that's what they're bred to do is kill vermin. And the poor little thing, I say poor little thing now, I wasn't so sympathetic at the time, was scared to death, stuck in a corner, and we tried to get him out, and then of course he ran to another corner, and so we had to move, uh, rearrange the whole studio, move everything to one side, and finally got him chased back over to the other corner, and with the door wide open, I guess his inclination is to hide, not run to open space. But anyway, finally after an hour of going back and forth we had some boards and we managed to get him scooted out the door much worse for his wear because he looked like somebody had plucked half his hair out <laughs> my dog kind of got hold of him but um, so he managed to uh, get back into the woods and then the next day my husband found him at the bottom of one of the trash cans he had come and it was the same one because he was missing all that hair so he climbed back in, you know, trying to get food, which I understand. So he promptly put a lid on the trash can and took him out into the country and let him loose. So hopefully he's made a good home far away from my house. Um, and then I have a mother, Robin, who's had, this is her second batch of, of uh, kids she's, or chicks kids, <laughs> chicks she's ha uh, raised there. And uh, the first batch, of course, one got so excited, fell out of the nest, and I got a little ladder and managed to get him back in the nest, much to the disgust of the mother and the baby. Um, now, today, another one was on the ground, and I tried to get him into the nest, and he jumped off the other direction and took off. So I don't know where he went. But if he's strong enough to get that far away from me, then I guess he's probably ready to go. So, me and my wild animals. But this nest is, is perfect because it's right outside of our back door under an awning. So I, we can watch her, uh, raise her chicks, and when they fledge and fall, you know, fly away, it's kind of cool. Um, I didn't realize that robins, I don't know if all birds do, but they continue to lay eggs during the year, I mean during the, the nice summer months, and raise as many as up to five different sets of, of babies so since it's only let's see today's the 10th of July she's still got plenty of time here in the south before uh, the weather gets bad so maybe she will raise more babies that'd be kind of interesting anyway today I'm gonna try to do uh, not quite sure what to call it <laughs> it's sort of a pour but it's not a pour But, um, Priscilla Batswell, she has a, a studio called Expressions Art Studio Gallery, and she does these wild paintings with all kinds of colors, and I've kind of really liked that. Um, so I've been trying to learn her technique. And having minor, you know, eh, good and bad success. So, that's not what I wanted in there. A big chunk of dried up old paint. Yeah, there. Out. So, I'm going to make a... Container full of paint like she does.
Yes, there. Well, <laughs> come on, Lil. Be nice. Be nice. Let's see what we get. If I can manage to work with my gloves here, catching everything. Okay, let's see. We need some red in here. I guess I should shake that. And we'll try some magenta. I got some pearl white. Some bright yellow. And a little dab of Dark purple. Yeah, let's get some black in here. Some more white. Slide these back a little bit here. And let's see, we'll do a little metallic. Blue green. Metallic blue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my head didn't get in the way there. Little light purple. Metallic purple. And I'll end with here with some gold. Lay these across.
everything was white. I guess I should have put the white down first. But I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so. <laughs> you can always speed this up so you don't have to watch me play with white paints for 10 minutes. Okay, let's see if I can get some tilt out of this. Since there's so much paint on here. air bubbles out of here. Add some more. Let's see. I'll get some more purple.
Okay, let's see here. The thing I like most about this is that you can kind of lay the paint down where you want it and Okay, I kind of kind of like that.
Well, I'm going to let that dry. As soon as I'm done messing with this more. Oh, I'm going to stop here. So, it's a very different technique. And I hope maybe I'll get better at it. <laughs> but, um, I do like that the gold, I mean the purple and the pink. Here, let's see.
Okay, I quit <laughs> because I, I could stand here all day and add little swirlies and things. But I'm going to let that dry and see how it looks. So I'll end this here. Oh, boy, these are whew, sweaty. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Have a good day. Jesus is coming soon. Let me show you what I did the other day with one in the same sort of style. Anyway, I just thought it would be fun to try something different. So let me know what you think. Um, please like and share and leave a comment. This is Millie, and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.